Hi there! It's Lou again, aka Jachina. For today's video, I got another review of another Tarte Holiday Palette. So, if you would like to see my review on it, then keep on watching. Okay, this is my second video for the, tar uh, for the Tarte Holiday Palettes that they have it here for Christmas here in Sephora. And we have some of it here in Singapore. And I'm so happy because... We are on time. I'm not so sure if the uh, if the previous holidays we are on time because usually we buy our products in Sephora US then we just ship it here in Singapore. But now we have uh, we have Sephora for quite some time in Singapore and yes, whatever we see in the US side, we have it here. Not not 100% but almost like probably 80% even in Benefit and Tarte and all those holiday products. So I really really love going to Sephora and if I have any um, wish list then I would like to have a Sephora gift card so, so this is what the packaging looked like I bought it recently and just a side story I bought this with my uh, what do you call this with my points from my credit card because uh, for credit cards we can redeem points and it got a Capita Mall voucher so uh, I got about $100 voucher from it then I bought this and I bought one more product that I'm going to review soon so in total I believe they're like $140 and then my then I got surprised when I reached on the um, on the cashier she said that I got 10% this 10% uh, discount that I can avail I'm not so sure how many points should I reach in Sephora before I get that but I have that then it totaled I only I only uh, I only uh, give my twenty five dollars cash. Then hundred dollars is a voucher now from my credit card. I redeem points. So yes, I'm so excited and I'm like oh my gosh, I got you know sort of um, sort of holiday expensive makeup and another tart product with uh, with my points and I just you know. I just pay my own money for $25. So yes, that's a side note. So yes, I'm going to review this. This is another Tarte product. This is the what they call the Treasure Box Collector Set. Okay, yes, this is it. If you haven't seen my other review, I'm going to link it down below. I, I reviewed the Tarte um, Hidden Treasure and the Bazaar Blush Palette that is super bomb i highly recommend it so you can just watch that video after watching this video anyways tarte has been you know has been uh in the cosmetic industry for quite some time and this year the products are really really great for the holidays really so this one actually this one i really really wanted to buy but when i went to sephora i saw a lot of holiday palettes and that um show my attention away from this but this a uh, very kind sephora lady jen sa ano sa boogies jump boogies junction just a boogies plus that uh, one of the biggest there then then the next one is in uh, iron orchard she said this is more worth it uh by the way this is a uh, 80 singapore dollars if you buy it here in uh, sephora singapore because she, it has a lot of items with it so yes i'm going to show you uh, what is it? My final thoughts, my reviews. I'm going to give you some swatches as well. And my makeup look today, I have it all from this palette. So, yes, so this is what the packaging uh, looks like. So cute because it got this uh, Moroccan uh, feel. Yeah, then at the back, it got this gold, gold, uh, ing gold ingredients. This one is gold. Uh, uh, design then all the ingredients are there just very tiny but yes that's about it and it says here the expiry ah it has an expiry date normally they have manufacturer date but here at the bottom it says here uh, expiry date July 20 uh, July 30 2020 so what is it okay so three years okay I can use this within three years so here at the top it says here treasure box collector set so as you can see this is their treasure treasure box collector set right so it's like beaming on my on my light and they have this own packaging that they're like moroccan feel like this one this is the the hidden treasure this is um eyeshadow palette yan yung itsura niya. and this is the tart 
uh, Bazaar blush. So, they're on this theme na parang Moroccan feel. I like it so much. And if you are a collector like me, it is really good. The quality of this one is really good. So, you can just check my video down below after this. And I'm going to show you what what is inside of this. So, it looks like... So, it's in a box. So, let's just open it. So, this is what the packaging looks like. So, the box mimics the the outer box. So, this is how it looks like. And it really, really looks like a treasure box. It's uh, a bit heavy. Then, it got this uh, Tarte uh, logo, embossed logo in it. Then... Everything is just the same. It's like a very good quality box. A bit of heavy, so I don't know how are you going to... How am I going to keep this? Probably I'll just sit it on my vanity if ever I have a vanity. I don't have a vanity here, so probably I'll just put it here. But what I like about this one, compact, and it's just like a book. I can just put it probably in my on my bookshelves and I can just get it. But the most amazing part is this one. It looks like really a treasure box. So when you open, it got all this eyeshadow. So it got this clear plastic sheet. Okay, so these are the eyeshadows. So these are like 24 eyeshadows. It got two blushes, one highlighter, and two bronze. And then at this side, it says here, what do you call this? Hidden treasures. So, so cute, right? Because it's it got a compartment here. That's why it's called hidden. Then got a small, small mirror here. Then it got a tart here. I'm not so sure why would you put the mirror. Probably you can do that. Well, I can only see this part. But anyways, they put a the mirror there. Then they have these products here. So this one is just so hard to take it out. So I need to have like um. Let's get something to help me get it they have here is a okay I'll just take it out so this one I can manage to take it out because it's on this uh, flimsy plastic container got a mascara a liquid lipstick and an eyeliner and the cute part is this slot with the hidden treasure you can put your brushes here so or you can put your favorite items there so you can just close it and you can just bring it when you travel or what this one I really really like the concept of it because first of all uh, I travel uh, sometimes I, well I want to travel all the time with my family and this one I can already imagine that this uh, what do you call this that this palette not this palette this whole uh, whole collector set will go with me without even having you know packing up a lot of things so if I have this, I'm like imagining I can just have my complexion uh, products like my my foundation or my BB cream and then my primer. Then that's it. Then this box. It's so compact. It's so cute. It's really, really uh, well made. It says here at the back, I'll just read, eyeshadow network is 0.7 grams. And then per eyeshadow is 0 0.024 ounces, then times 24 then it got and everything here okay everything here is made in the usa but the eyeliner it's made in china it says here mascara manufactured in italy and assembled in taiwan distributed by tarte new york and all rights reserved in yeah and it's all rights reserved and at the at the back it says here six months shelf life so it means uh when i open it it got only a six month shelf life i don't know why would six months is very is very soon right like november na ngayon. six months is like a couple of months ago but i'm pretty sure this will last long so i'm going so it this is how it looks like i'm going to show you close up yes so I'm going to do some swatches so that you know how it uh, how it looks. Actually, the name of the eyeshadow is written here below. It's so tiny, but yes, let's just do it. Probably I'm going to put it. Let's read first what it says here at the Sephora website. Uh, I forgot to tell you this is a limited edition package. So if they're gone, they're gone. And what else it's written here? It says here this is a gift set 
Overflowing with Tarte Treasures, Best Selling Eyeshadow, Liner, Mascara, Cheek, and Lipstick formulas in all new shades then it says here hashtag tart delight it says here it gives a full face of glam with exotic packaging inspired by the tarts themes travels inside you'll find everything you need in one place it got 24 piece uh, eyeshadow palette warm and cool tone blushes it got two universal brown uh, bronzers and a pearlescent highlighter with all new shades to love that's why this is what i like about it because these are all new shades as well they never uh, they didn't repeat it from their previous uh palettes and it says here open the storage compartment to reveal some hidden treasures a full-size kitten eyeliner and travel size faves including Tarte's iconic mascara and quick drying matte liquid lipstick which i'm wearing right now it's a universal color it's so cute here also on the website this is a uh, dermatology's uh, tested very good and i really like Tarte products because they're like amazonian clay because it will uh, last more what does it say as well here Okay, it also says here that the Amazonian clay is a nature's most perfect ingredient for better, longer, truer, truer wear. And it got concentrated mineral pigments, natural preservative that also acts as an anti-inflammatory emollient and antioxidant. It soothes and softens skin. And it got vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Wow. The marketing, the marketing that they put here is really, really, uh, ano ba to? really, really good that I really want to buy it. Well, well it works for me because I, I've seen uh, a lot of people are having it here in YouTube and it's really, really nice. So uh, I'm into marketing as well. So that's why I, I want to read all of this stuff because don't you want, don't you want to know if what they are selling in uh in marketing it's true because some people uh won't be able to see it or test it in actual real life in sephora but at least whatever i see here in hang on uh, in the tart uh in the tart website similar siya, right because some of it napaka deceiving hindi siya parehas they're not similar so yes let's swatch it so let me begin so yes, this is how it looks like again. Okay, if you can see here, I noticed they put it in a way that is uh they put it in a way that they separated the warm and cool tone. So I noticed this uh first uh four eight twelve. This first twelve it's all warm and this one below it's all cool tone, right? Isn't it is it uh, isn't it nice? And I'm sorry, I already dig on my finger there that's why it's like that so let's begin the swatching i don't swatch it here on my morena skin tone okay we just swatch first this four okay i just changed places because i don't have any more light there because it's already night time so as you can see i have my white light here at my bedroom and this is what the makeup looks like a while ago it's a uh, beside the the windows with natural light so you can see what is the effect of the makeup because i use everything on my face except foundation from this so let's do the swatching so i'll just show you again so this is how it looks like so let's swatch the first row here at my Let's watch our first row here. So, first one is Utopia. It's kind of a flesh color. One is Cloud Nine. All the shadows, this uh, Amazonian uh, clay is uh, very, very soft. Next one is Bazaar. I like it it's a bronze color warm bronze color next one is o a w e o yes one is trinket the white good base color if you can hear on the on the background they're watching something 
This is Tails. Next one is Swirl. It's the same color of my skin. Brown. Good for the crease area. Okay, this is Scenic. It's like a dark brown. And when I dip on my pinky finger there, it's very scratchy. It's very patchy. So, yes. Next color is Culture. A good base color as well. Next one is Craft. Wow, it's a fleshy... It's a fleshy sheen color. Next color is Artisan. Wow, so nice. That's Artisan. Next color is Palace. Okay, when I dip my finger as well on this palace, it's very patchy. It's very scratchy and not that pigmented. So yes, these are all the warm colors for this uh, first three rows. This is the one that I, I said is patchy. This, um, what do you call this? Okay, this is the uh, last, uh, the two colors that I found, that I find patchy. This is Cynic and uh, Palace. So yes. So these are the warm colors. And then I'll show you the other side for the next uh, three rows. So from this, from this this row to the last row, it's all cool tone. I'm going to show it here the other side. Okay, I hope I can do it because you know I use I uh, I'm used to using this other finger. So yes, let's begin. Okay, I have the first color, Quest. Next color is Caravan. Another good base color. Next color is Lantern. Oh, I love this Lantern color. Color is Wayfarer. So this is the black one. As you can see, very patchy as well. Color is Joyride. Nice a silvery white color. That is Odyssey. Wow, nice silver color. Good for Christmas parties. This one is Souvenir. Oh, I love this color. It's like kind of a blue green color, but, uh, but a bit of a uh, patchy as well. This one is Adventure. Wow. Patchy as well. It's got a black, black, blue color shift to it. Next color is Globe. Okay, nice eyebrow color, base color. This color is called Emporium. Okay, not that pigmented. It's patch, patchy as well. It's called Tem. Wow, I like this color. It's kind of a purplish brown. Last color is Legend. Okay, that color. So yes, I put side by side. <laughs> okay, yes, I put side by side the color. So this is the warm colors. As you can see, very very uh, obvious. It's this uh, kind of a warm neutral colors, and this is the cool tone colors. So. From this collect uh, collection, I believe the one that is uh, patchy is this uh, Wayfarer. Yes, but as you can see, if you are the type of girl that you like this kind of colors, then this is really for you because I think it will really, really uh, complement any skin co uh, skin color, especially for Marana Filipino girls like me. So yes, that is the color for the Amazonian. Amazonian uh, eyeshadow eyeshadows this one the one I've used as well if you can see in in my eyes I only use uh, two colors um, I use uh, the base my base I use a uh, globe this white color and then I just put this a uh, bazaar this color bazaar and for my crease I just use a uh, cloud nine so this is how it looks like Yes, and for the okay, then for the for this side, let's do the swatching as well. Probably, do we still have? Okay, sorry, we'll do it here <laughs> at this side. Okay, for the swatching, let's do first the blushes. Okay, 
the first the blushes. So if I'm looking at it, this two looks similar, but not because this one is kind of a peachy color, and this one is kind of a pink color. So we'll take first the peachy color. So this is the peachy color. And this is the pink color you can see the difference so on my cheeks right now I mix both of them because it's nice as well to mix and for Amazonian uh, blushes from Clark uh, for Amazonian uh, blushes from Tarte this one it really really lasts long uh, I like it you see it's a nice color it complements my skin we do the swatching for this highlighter I'm not so sure but it doesn't have any name to it but yes we'll do the highlighter it's a very very big highlighter so this is what it looks like on the finger and let's watch it here actually it's very very subtle because I, I already put it here on top of my uh, blush so it's just like a, a sheen to it, nothing nothing fancy, nothing out of this world because I don't want it out of this world because I got already oily to normal skin. So yes, that is the highlighter. And for the below part, the bronze, this is for warm bronze for the brown one. And this one, I noticed it got a bit of sheen to it. Yes. So this is the warm bronzer and this is I got a bit of sheen to it. So let's swatch it so that you can see okay from this side we put it this one yes so this is like the universal bronzer i like it and the other one that got sheen to it so it looks like this a bit darker i like as well a bit of a darker bronzer if you can if I'm looking at it it has a, a bit of sheen to it but nothing crazy because you don't want any more shine on a face right especially for me that I have enough shine already so yes this is all the colors on this side of the treasure box yes and then let's do here the hidden treasure so let's take it out Okay, for easier thing, for easier, for easier uh, review, I, I already took it out. So you got, you know, a good amount of space here if you want to put your eyeliner or brush or what. So let's check this out. This one, this one, it's an eyeliner and the name is Sex Kitten. I have never heard of this eyeliner. It says here it's point zero, uh, point two grams it's made in china and distributed by tart new york so it's like your typical twist up eyeliner color black we'll just put it here actually it's a good color not not too uh not too matte black but it's an okay color for me it's a twist up color but what i like about uh, this one as well it got a smudger at the end so let's just smudge it so this is uh, the effect of it got a smudger and it got a sharpener as well so from this smudger right you can just open it and it got a sharpener so that your twist up eyeliner will always be pointed it's so nice I put it as well uh, on my top and lower uh, liner and it's good it's I need uh, a bit of tagging I need to I will show you the video on how I did it but yes I managed to do it it's nice and it's long-lasting as well next one is the the mascara they said this is their one of their is the mascara this is what you call the Tarte lights camera lashes this is what they call the Tarte lash camera lashes they said this is their one of their um uh what they call this um they said this is uh their one of the best sellers so this is in a uh, mini size this is the assembled in taiwan so i like the packaging because it's got like the alligator type of packaging into it it's very textured and this is how it looks like 
is your regular one. I felt like there's nothing inside, but probably it's not that uh, too clumpy. But I like it as well. I have it on my eyelashes, as you can see. The last product is the. Uh, this is their tart tartiest lip paint. This is their liquid lipstick. Very tiny. I believe the color is grand. It's a very neutral pink nude. It's what I'm wearing right now as well. It all complements my my uh, what do you call this? It all complements my look right now because I'm on a natural look today. Okay, yes, I already done my swatching and I already done my my showing. I already done my showing of all the products in here. So let's let me tell you what my pros and cons of it. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll just do first the cons. Cons is all the negative things that I can see. I can see that this one is kind of bulky. Not a lot of people would want this, but. What, what do you expect? This is a treasure box that everything, everything is inside. Actually, for me, even though I don't have, um, uh, what do you call this, a vanity place here. Sorry for that, my baby's outside. I really like this because it's just like a book. I can just put it on the bookshelf. But yes, that is the con. What else? Then I think that's about it for the negativity for this uh, palette. I have, I don't see any um, negative or cons on this. Probably it's um, it's very petty for me. But I have a lot of uh, positive reviews on this. My very first positive review is, even before you open the package, is really, really pretty. It's, you can really show it off. It's just so pretty. Second of all, I can travel with this. Really, I can really see my, uh, me, myself traveling uh, with it even though a lot of people are saying it's kind of heavy. Not that heavy, just a, enough heaviness, enough weight for me. But I would, I would, I can imagine of it that I can put it in my, like a small paper bag then I'll just put it on my luggage. You know what? Because this is a very sturdy box. Everything inside will not will not tumble or whatsoever everything is really compact so I really like it and the next uh, next pro is I like this kind of colors because it gives you a lot of uh, what do you call this choices and it makes me feel inspired not too crazy colors as well that you only use uh, one or one or two times only in what one or two times in your life this one is all neutral colors I like the warm and cool tones that they have um, figured out inside. And they last long on my eyelids as well because it's Amazonian clay. I like that they have two choices of blushes, two choices of bronzers, and one highlighter. And I like this one because this one is a good color already. The lip paint in grand as you can see in my, in my lips. The eyeliner, I'm not so, uh, I'm not uh, a, a fan of this. I really like my own uh, cold eyeliner, but it's good. It's already okay. And this one, this uh, mascara, I haven't worn it for the, uh, that long, but I tried it. It's really nice. I can see myself in the mirror. I like what I see. So yes, that is my that is my final review, and I like this kind of packaging as well. Very sturdy. And it's really like a collector's item and it's really really like a treasure box so if you agree with me comment below and what what do you think of it I like it so much Tarte has been uh, creating a lot of uh, holiday uh, palettes and holiday um, gift sets in Sephora that I really really like they they did it very very good very very well this year and this one it only cost me $80 and by the way I remember that Sephora lady who helped me out she said this you will get this 24 eyeshadows with the blushes with the with the blushes and with the bronzers and this one as well this is one of their best seller she said is very very worth it even though they are in the deluxe mini size because this is an opportunity opportunity for us uh, new uh, new like for me I'm a I'm a new person 
who wanted to use any Tarte product. At least this is a, this is a this is an opportunity for me to try out this. But I believe the Sex Kitten eyeliner is a full size. But everything, yes, it's not too small, not too big, not too crazy as well. But that that's why I managed to buy it just for her from her recommendation. And she even packed it for me because I said, oh, this is for me, but I would love it to be packed. So they pack it for me. So yes, that's about it. This is my final review with the Sephora Treasure Box Collector Set. This is a limited edition. I highly uh, rave about it. I highly like it. It and I highly, yeah, like what I say, recommend it if you have a chance to get it, get it because it's a winner. You can see, you already got uh, 12 warm, uh, warm neutral eyeshadows and then 12 cool tone eyeshadows with all the plus plus inside. It's really so cool. For, for me, that's why I like holiday palettes because this is a good opportunity for consumers to try out uh, new, uh, what do you call this, new um, products and items from uh, Sephora. And uh, this kind of uh, market, this is also a marketing strategy because they compile it all in one box or all in one set so that if you like this kind of minis, you will get, you will able to buy the full size. So, and it's really, really affordable. Affordable in a sense because they, they compiled it into one shot, right? You will get a very good value. Okay, let's slash out the affordability -ness. <laughs> Sorry. Let's slash out the, uh, the affordable word. Let me use, uh, it's, a, it's a good value gift set. Yes, okay, this is a good value gift set because everything is compiled to it. You can have a good look to it. I'll just bring a primer and a primer and a foundation and my brush. Then that's about it. Actually, for, for me, I didn't. I just put a moisturizer primer and I used my Maybelline BB Cushion Matte. And I like what uh, I see, especially with my camouflage shirt with net I really like it so yes that's about it this is my final review and my thoughts art treasure box collector set this is a limited edition you can get it in Sephora and online and I like it so much so if you like this kind of videos or hauls or anything related to beauty and family like and subscribe and Click the bell button beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload new stuff from your mobile phone. And by the way, I have a giveaway that is ongoing. Deadline is December 15. I'm going to link it down below. Please join. It's open internationally. So yes, let's have a very Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time on my next video. Bye-bye!